the lowly marshmallow. Some people think of the marshmallow as a mere cream puff in the agribusiness economy of Utah, but noted horticultural expert Dr. Herb I. Side knows that could change. This is the worst I've ever seen it. Dr. Side has good reason for concern. The early arrival of daylight savings time this weekend. The doctor's garden here in Farmington is threatened by the problem. The concern is the time change will mean an earlier sunup, and that could spoil the delicate snow white appearance and sugar sweet taste that picky consumers demand. The marshmallow is not indigenous to Utah. It's not even a native plant. The pioneers brought seedlings like these across the plains, and the plants flourished. They ate them raw. The marshmallow has come a long way since then. The adhesive properties of the marshmallow may even have nuclear fusion overtones. We're, we're always worried about whether our agricultural community is going to be able to make it this year. And so much is at stake, it even has the governor concerned. Marshmallows have been a particular concern to me, and I've asked Commissioner Ferry to see if they're going to need any support for that crop this year. The impact of the problem is being studied, but the findings of the renowned scientist, Dr. Herb I. Side, may leave a bad taste in your mouth. Well, it's that ultraviolet rays coming down in the early morning that's a blasted daylight savings time. But look at this. This one looks like it's been burnt in a campfire. But taste it. It's awful. The impact on supermarket prices is still uncertain. Marshmallow futures are already reported as soft. Can anything be done? Governor Bangeter is confident that Utahns can lick the problem. As you know, marshmallows are basic to every one of our diets, our entire society, and they're best when they're covered with sugar. It's not a soft issue, is it, Governor? Well, a little, but uh, it'll firm up with time. Doug Miller, Eyewitness News, in the marshmallow fields of Farmington.